What if I told you that the gecko that I'm holding here isn't actually Pingu. No, in fact, this is one of Pingu's daughters. Because in today's video, we're gonna be doing an update on all of my crested geckos. And this will include quite a few of the offspring that they've produced because you guys have been asking and well, I haven't really given you an update in quite some time because they've developed so nice and I'm thrilled to be able to show you how these animals are doing. We're gonna take a bunch of them out Take a look at the color development on these animals. And then we're also gonna prepare some diet and do a bit of hand feeding. So if you're into crested geckos, you wanna see the amazing crested gecko breeding project continuation, you're definitely not gonna wanna miss this one. So do continue watching. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. If you guys are new here, I wanna take a moment to say that I make videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing subscribing down below and thinking that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future content. I do my best to post one or two videos a week. I also want to take a quick moment to sincerely thank Into the AM for sponsoring today's video. They're an incredible online clothing company that produces some really comfortable clothing and some exceptionally cool and original graphic designs. So we're going to talk about them a little bit further in the video, but I just wanted to quickly mention them and say thank you so much for sponsoring the video. First geckos we're gonna look at here are Nona's babies. Now these are interesting because all three of them have that sort of lavender appearance, but Nona produced a few clutches and several were not only stillborn, several babies didn't ever hatch. It was a very strange group of eggs she produced. So out of all the eggs Nona produced last year, only three babies survived. But as we'll go through and look at each of Nona's babies, you're going to see that all of them look very similar. Hey you, stop jumping. Yeah, they have that really lavender kind of base color. So that's one of the offspring that was produced through a Nona and Rambo pairing. So again, here is another sibling from that pairing. Very lavender coloration, super interesting, very pale. Oh, this is the clutch mate of that other one. It's almost a purpley blue color. It's really quite special. Would you like to eat or you? Yeah, you're kind of spooked too, aren't you? No? Okay. Uh, I do handle them a decent amount, but when they just come out of the blue, things get a bit jumpy. Oh yeah, you like that, huh? So yeah, this one here is a young male. What's so peculiar too about these animals is how clean they are. As you can see, they really lack any Dalmatian spots. Really, really cool looking gecko. Okay guys, this is one of my favorite babies that I produced, a Nona Rambo baby. Check this girl out. Isn't she incredible? That beautiful lavender base. She has some pretty good crest or head structure. Super clean, not a single Dalmatian spot on this animal anywhere. Lots of nice pattern coming in. Do you like some diet? Mmm, look at that. Is that good? Thank you. 
TC Wicked. She's really cool. I'm gonna be holding this girl back to see how she continues to develop. I really love her. And I really wanted to hold back one of the babies from Known on Rambo too, to kind of see what's going on here with this really lavender pattern and coloration. Now, as I mentioned before, today's video is sponsored by Into the AM, and I want to take a moment to sincerely thank them so much for doing so. Into the AM is an awesome online clothing brand that produces really cool graphic designs and really comfortable clothing. Anything from sweaters, jackets, tees, and more, they have something for you. And they blend different themes, such as nature, science. Well, I mean, take a look at the website. There's some really cool designs here. This one's called The Dreamer. You can see it's a pretty cool design. I love nature themes and I'm an outdoorsy guy. In my spare time when I'm not producing content, I'm usually outside with my dog Remy going through the woods and they got some really cool designs I picked and was thankful to have sent to me. So if you guys are also interested in these really nicely fitting clothes, it really does make you look kind of jacked, I must say. Well, you can check out their website too. They also have a really cool sale going on right now where you get three tees for $60. And on top of this, you can use my discount link down below for 10% off your entire purchase on anything in their online shop. Thank you so much again to Into The AM for sponsoring today's video. If you want to learn more, as I said, check out the link in the video description to get that discount and enjoy. Now this handsome boy is one of the first babies I produced last year. This was the first clutch from Pingu and Rambo. The first clutch that hatched from Pingu and Rambo were Lily Whites, both of them. And so both of those Lily Whites are doing fantastic. One is a boy and his sibling is a girl. Let's go ahead and see if he wants a little bit of... Right. Hey buddy, hey, oh. Just as you can see though, very, very clean animal again. No spots. Lots of beautiful pattern developing on the gecko. Just a really, really nice animal. He looks so, so good. Aren't you, buddy? He's really clean. All right, guys, so next up is his sister. This is the female. So again, the first clutch produced by Pingu. And she's also the same gecko from today's video intro. She is beautiful and she's filling up with great patterns so nicely. I think she'll make an exceptional breeder for someone at some point. Good girl. Is that yummy? Good job. All right, let's move on. So these animals aren't really fired up as you can see, but this is a really interesting looking gecko produced out of Rambo and Pingu. We can just get them to chill out a little bit. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all a pretty intense question. And this revolves around the ethics surrounding breeding animals. I think one of the really important things we need to consider when we breed reptiles and amphibians is the long-term commitment and process of, well, not just producing the animals, but having them in our care. You see, for example, I only have two female crested geckos. And over the span of last season and a little bit into this season, they've produced well over 20 crested geckos. And that's a large commitment because I'm not only keeping those animals and raising them, I have to be able to provide them with loving homes as they grow in the event that I don't sell them because they're my responsibility for choosing to help, I guess, produce them, right? So my question to you is, what are some of the ethical things you think we need to consider when producing reptiles before we go ahead and take that step? So I'd love to know what you think about this. What are the things you need to consider when you're gonna be breeding? So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll try to give you a comment in heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks. Now here is the sibling of that last gecko we just looked at. And man, they got some nice structure and light coloration. Super pretty gecko. I believe this animal is female. You're okay, girl. Take it easy, take it easy, my goodness. She is just going crazy here. You're okay, what's going on? Oh my, oh my.
Alright guys, so this is Pingu and Rambo's third clutch. You can see that oh, you can't see anything, they ran away. You can see that these guys are a bit darker than the rest of their siblings, which is kind of interesting. But they still have that really cool cream coloration. They're really nice looking geckos. Good structure. They do have some Dalmatian spots, but otherwise, really nice geckos. Little buddy, do you want some diet? Oh yeah, you definitely do. Wow. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Eat it. Tasty. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This baby's really keen on eating. Look at you go eat. Holding that bowl and everything. Oh, yeah, you are enjoying that mix. Mmm, tilt your head back. <laughs> He's like, this is my bowl. I will put my hand here. I have claimed this, Dad. Now this little frog butt is the sibling of that last gecko. This one unfortunately dropped its tail due to a little accident. They are clearly happy and healthy. And remember, most crested geckos in the wild are missing their tails anyways. Obviously, I do my best to ensure that they don't drop their tails. You can kind of see how spazzy this one is. It's not such a surprise that they did. Where are you going? Just take it easy, buddy. You're good. Here is another really nice lily white. You can see this one is significantly younger, but dang is it developing some really nice pattern. Would you like to eat? Is he no? Now, there are more geckos, but the last two I'm gonna show you are these ones. This one is really interesting. It's developing some really cool pattern. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one will look as a larger animal. It is not a lily white, but has a ton of cool pattern developing on it. They're a really, really pretty gecko. And here is the sibling to that gecko. So you can actually see them side by side. We have them just like that. They are gorgeous little geckos. Absolutely stunning. And for this one's size, it is really developing some great pattern already. You. <laughs> okay, be nice to each other. I'm really excited to see these little ones develop. Okay, everybody, now that we've had a chance to say hi to some of the young'uns, we're gonna take a look at the adults. So here, we've got Rambo. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Look at this handsome man with his large crest structure. Oh, you got a little bit of shed stuck there. Uh, we'll get that off in a second. He's doing good. Hey, bud, look at you. Here, let's get that off you. There we go. How are you, Rambo? Right, let's see if he wants to eat. So as you guys can see, Rambo is currently fired down, but he is a real stunner when he is fired up. I'm sure you've seen some footage of him if you've been following my Crested Gecko breeding. But yeah, let's see if he'll have some diet. You go good, sir. Now this is a bit runnier than usual, I must admit, but he is happy. Mm, mm, mm. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, I'd really suggest you check out this video up above to how to tame your crested gecko. I show you guys a few tips and tricks on how you can tame your crested gecko and develop a little bit more of a bond with the animal. We discuss some forms of training, classical conditioning, operant conditioning, things like that. So it's a really good video to teach you a little bit about how to develop a relationship with your gecko. Okay, everybody, here is sweet little Pingu. As you can see, she's doing very well. She's a beautiful crested gecko. I love this girl so much. She's quite stunning and she's pretty chill, which is really nice. She'll do a lot of hand feeding. I mean, these are the geckos that I've spent so much time holding and conditioning to tolerate some form of handling. You know, you see the babies and how much they flip out. It's because they're not used to it yet. They're getting a bit of that taming, but it hasn't been that much, right? So, whereas Pingu is just <laughs> chill vibes. She's as tame as they come. I could probably give her a cricket right now and she'd take it too, so yeah. 
That's a good girl, Pingu. I love this gecko so much. And then she'll probably kind of go, all right, I'm ready for some more now. She'll start sitting and then she'll start drinking a bit more. The rest will put in their enclosure and she can get at it whenever she likes. You ready to go home? Yes, she's like, I'm, I'm done, I'm ready. <laughs> Okay. What's also kind of cool is the geckos truly recognize their home. See? She's like, I know this is where I live and I want to go back. Give them their bowl of food. Okay, let's check on Nona. Okay, friends, Miss Nona Firestripe's enclosure looks pretty solid. Let's go ahead and gently remove her. Hello, girl. Okay, everybody, so here is beautiful Miss Nona Firestripe. I haven't really gotten a chance to see her in a while, but she is doing great. Beautiful as always. Let's go ahead and see if she'd like to have some diet. So that much should be good for an adult. She'll have a bit left over, but she can finish it tomorrow. There you go, girl. Mmm, she's happy about that. Mmm, tasty. Good stuff. Want a little bit more? Down here. This way. There you go. <laughs> Again, these geckos are just amazing animals. They really got used to handling. Yes, a lot of crested geckos do slow down when they become a bit older, but the care and attention that goes into taming them really does make a big difference. Well, we'll put Nona back and then we will close the video. There's your home. You can go inside the enclosure or outside the enclosure. What did she choose? That is the big question. She wants to go in. She knows that's her home. And then again, lastly, put her food in perfect before we end today's video i want to take a moment to sincerely thank my patrons over on the patreon platform thank you so much for your continued support friends it means so much to me that you want to take that little extra step beyond viewership and engagement in the content to support this channel my animals further if you don't already know there's so many perks associated with becoming a reptiliatus patron there's sneak peeks discounts on merch and more. There's gonna be a few contests coming up very soon for some new merch coming out. And on top of this, you get a shout out in an upcoming video when you become a patron. So with that being said, today we're gonna to be thanking Nathan for becoming my most recent patron on the platform. Thank you so much, Nathan, and welcome to the patron community. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's video on my crested gecko update. It's always so much fun being able to share these breeding projects with you, show you these incredible animals and their development, and I do apologize for the delay in that process, but now that you've seen them, I do wanna share that you may not see them on the channel again, because a lot of these animals will be going up for sale soon so that they can go to new loving homes that will continue to provide them with an exceptional amount of loving care. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. It really does help support the channel and the content at large. And if you are interested in purchasing any of my Crested Geckos, feel free to message me on Instagram or you can contact my business email, which is in the link down below. Thank you so much for your consideration and your interest. If you guys want to see more videos pertaining to breeding crested geckos, check out the playlist up above. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Thanks everybody. Take care.